Hi, Bethany here. This is the Retrain Your Brain Show. I am really pleased to be to be doing this and to come and have something like Facebook and do this live. Um, this is really, really difficult. Um, this is actually take two. Uh, don't, it, it's, it is what it is. You know, giving it a shot. That's the whole point. Just doing something new and getting out there. So the Retrain Your Brain show. I'm doing this to help people figure out what it is that, what's getting in their way. Uh, what is holding, what is holding you back from doing something you really want to do? What's, what is that, what is, what is that thing that could make your life better, but you've got self-doubt or you've got a limiting belief about yourself that you just can't do something. Um, I'm going to try and share my experience and others. I'm going to bring others on the show who have also gone through battle with themselves uh, to achieve their goals. I've, I know people who uh, were very much anti-fitness and now they're beach body coaches and you know other people who have made that dive into the entrepreneurial world and finally just kind of ripped the cord and um, and made it out in the world on their own and develop their own business and uh, therefore also improving their financial life. Um, you know, I'm going to kind of explore all these facets and if it's something that I personally don't have experience in but I know could help people, I'll try to bring those people um, onto the show. So every Monday about 2 o'clock-ish, uh, it's about 2.15 now, and um, I'm going to get started. So today I really wanted to talk about uh, mental health, and so that's what the title is, Owning, Owning Your Reality. I, I feel like there's, you know, a lot of people go through life just kind of complacent and good and just they just don't really think about how do they really feel um, you know and if, if you're not looking to self-improve and you're okay with that and kind of just being mediocre and not really getting out there um, then you know that that's your thing um, Hey Kim, <laughs> thank you for joining. Um, love you, by the way. Uh, so the, what is it that, um, what what is it that you are not realizing about your life and what you like and dislike? Uh, a lot of people, I feel like, use Facebook to kind of promote all the good and you know people doing sharing the likes and using the likes and almost obsessing over the likes on Facebook and keeping the vulnerability of when things aren't going so well out um, so you're putting out the projection in the world that everything is hunky-dory uh, when in reality maybe not and so it's what is your reality you've got to own how you really feel about things before you can change. Um, and, and that's the key. You've got to also want to be able to change. You won't do it if you don't want to change. So this is for those, you know, who want to improve and let's face it. I mean, we all know that there's a mental health problem going on. I mean, kids shooting each other and celebrities committing suicide. Uh, I read a story recently about a lady, uh, about a beautiful woman who was an Instagram sensation. She traveled around taking pictures with people who recognized her, you know, just looked like she was just having the time of her life. And then it backtracked and showed, so what's going on when the camera's off? and. This lady was alone. Uh, the people she was taking pictures with recognized her from Instagram, took the pictures, and then on their way. She didn't have a companion that she was doing all this stuff with. She didn't have anybody with her when she woke up in the morning. And um, 
ultimately she ended up taking pills and committed suicide. Um, so, I mean, there's a, the big thing, you know, social media, as much as it can connect people, there's the ugly side of it that some people are losing connections and, um, you know, it's, it's important. It, this is important stuff. You know, people need to be taking care of their mental health. And that includes being real about what's going on in their life that isn't so good. You know, just taking, taking a moment to give your, to give your head space to think and to feel, um, to really, to really realize where your mental state is, you know, for, for people who are working a job, you know, and you share that silly Monday's uh, meme. Do, do you mean that? You know, do you actually really like your job? I mean, that's okay too, but you know, it's a fun thing to make fun of it. Um, or is it worse than that? Maybe you're miserable at your job, but you're afraid of the unknown to move on. Like you gotta own your reality and then also own how much are you willing to change your reality in order to avoid worse mental states. Um, so, you know, the first step to retrain your brain is to find your way of, of being able to realize what are your stopping points? What are the things you're doing or not doing? It goes both ways. Um, that could help you know, figure out what you need to do. Um, for me, it's a mix of, uh, I've gotten into yoga. Uh, yoga has really kind of helped me learn how to kind of just breathe, to slow down. Um, that's been a big thing, slowing down. I'm an extrovert. I like to talk fast and move fast and think fast and, you know, I can be quicker than the average bear sometimes. But at the same time, I go so fast that I get ahead of my thought process and then that's when pauses happen. <laughs> so that one was on purpose. Uh, it's finding what gets your brain into a state where you can really just kind of acknowledge where you are. You don't even have to think about solutions or um, you know, or what to do about it. Just, just whatever helps you realize where you really are. So again, my first step was yoga. Um, going to classes with teachers that just teach you to breathe, that teach you to bring your focus into your body and connecting to your body. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a Christian. This isn't woo-woo stuff. This, this actually, you know, this actually works. You know, it, it, it helps my mind slow down and and just be there for myself, you know, instead of just thinking about, you know, this meeting and that meeting and who's going to call me next and who's going to have the next problem. And, you know, um, yoga has helped me learn how to slow down and, and be there for, for me. Uh, the second thing I've done is, uh, I do actually do try to do a little meditation. Uh, I'm not great at it, and I'm doing it every, every couple of days. Uh, but there's a good saying, and I forget if it was the Dalai Lama or whoever it was that said, um, you know, it, it, you should meditate for 20 minutes a day. And if you think you're too busy for that, then you probably should meditate for an hour. <laughs> um, for me, and from what I've experienced so far, learning how to meditate uh, and taking my high stress energy to bring it down, uh, meditation also has been very, very helpful. And for beginners, uh, I've been using the Headspace app. And then there's another one called Calm, both of which you get free trials for quite a little bit. And um, if you use it, you know, every day, you can get pretty far into it before those trials expire. Uh, and then the, the Calm app actually can remain free. And, you, you know, you've got limited uh, things you can go in there for guided meditations and then the the headspace um is the more expensive one but go you know i, I just did a, a year-long subscription it's a little less expensive uh i like i said highly recommend it 
Um, and even just start with the Headspace app and then go move on to the Calm app later when you've kind of got the hang of it. Uh, but those are the two things that I use. I know there's lots of others that use uh, journaling. Um, I've, I've tried kind of generally diarying stuff uh, that just hasn't really stuck. Uh, I, I find kind of learning how to be grounded first is where I've been. Uh, but uh, journaling, walking, reading, you know, going and reading those books that just speak to you. And you'll know. I mean, you can start in on a book, and if it's just not speaking to you, go find another one. It's okay not to commit <laughs> um, when you're trying to do what's right for yourself. You know, I, I really enjoy I've enjoyed it a couple of, there's a couple of magazines, one that's called Breathe, you know, that's picked up. And I'll just be at the grocery store, and I'll see the magazines, and sometimes one just really calls and there was one that was a, a yoga magazine that was about um, yoga for uh, chronic pain and at that time I had managed to dislodge um, a, a, a side joint and I mean and it was painful um, and sure enough I, I pick up this I had picked up this magazine and I looked through it and there it was yoga for exactly what had happened for what I was doing. So, but part of that I was able to do because I had already started taking yoga classes and had started meditation and was being more of aware of the things that I needed for myself in order to get the head right. So, all of that to say, the first step to retraining your brain to achieve results you know, whether, like I said, that be to improve your health, to improve your mental health, uh, to get out of your own way, to take the leap, to get yourself out of a financial situation, or be that to even just fix a relationship. Step one is just owning your own reality and finding your way of being able to do that um, and paying attention to your, to your head. Um, and you pay attention to how, your head by understanding how your body feels. It's 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 quite a thing that I've been uh, learning about. So, anywho, I hope you find this first video a uh, soup you know helpful in just taking the time to think, to breathe. Um, you'd be surprised. Five minutes, uh, what you can learn about yourself uh, if you just take those five minutes to do so. Um, please, if you have any. Uh, if you've got a story to share, got questions on, uh, you know, just general, yes, I've got the little voice in my head that, you know, I should go to the gym, but I don't, you know, and this is, uh, you know, at service level, this is why I think I'm not going to the gym, but, you know, let's explore that, you know, is, is your, is what your rationale really your reason or is it not? Um, please shoot me a message. It can, you know, in, in, We'll start kind of building the library of, of uh, do's and don'ts. Uh, but this first kind of, the first few videos are just going to be about your mental health and uh, how you can improve upon that and really just acknowledge where you are and where you want to go. So I hope uh, you'll join me on this journey and we will speak again soon. Uh, hope you will join me in the future. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> First video done. <laughs>